Ever wondered what tools hackers are using on the dark web in 2025? Today we're diving into the digital underground to expose the top 10 free hacking tools you can find right now. This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or encourage illegal activities. We're here to show you how these tools work so you can better protect yourself. From anonymous operating systems to password crackers, we'll break down what each tool does and why it matters. You'll get a live look at some of these tools in action, just like cybersecurity professionals do to test defenses. If you're curious about ethical hacking or want to understand the tech behind the hidden internet, you're in the right place. Let's pull back the curtain on the most powerful and accessible tools out there. Let's get started. Number 10 is the foundation of all dark web activity, the Tor browser. Think of it as Chrome for the hidden internet, completely free and easy to install. Tor bounces your connection through a series of servers worldwide, making your online activity nearly impossible to trace. This process, called onion routing, wraps your data in layers of encryption, peeling off each layer at every node. By the time your traffic reaches its destination, it's almost untraceable. That's why dark web domains end in .onion, a nod to this technology. The interface looks like a normal browser, but is built for privacy, blocking trackers and scripts by default. For anyone exploring the dark web, security researchers, journalists, Tor is the essential starting point. But Tor only protects your web traffic. What about your whole computer? That's where our next tool comes in. Get ready for an operating system built for total privacy. Number nine is Tails, the amnesic incognito live system. It's a portable operating system you run from a USB stick, leaving no trace on the computer you use. Every session is a fresh start. Nothing is saved, not even your browsing history or passwords. Tails forces all internet connections through Tor, blocking anything that tries to bypass it. It comes preloaded with encryption tools for files, emails, and messages. It's the go-to for whistleblowers and anyone who needs to stay invisible online. We're booting it up now. See, it loads its own desktop, totally separate from the main OS. It's like having a secret agent's computer in your pocket. But what if you want to isolate your secret activities without rebooting? That's where Honix comes in. Let's see how virtualization takes anonymity even further. Number eight is Honix a clever system that runs inside your existing computer using virtualization. It creates two virtual machines, the workstation, where you do your work, and the gateway, which handles all internet traffic. The workstation can't see your real IP address. It only connects to the gateway, which routes everything through Tor. Even if malware infects your workstation, it can't leak your identity. We've got it running here. Two windows, one for work, one for secure internet. It's a robust way to separate anonymous activity from your real identity, all on one machine. It's more complex than Tails, but the security is next level. But what if you want to isolate every part of your digital life? Our next tool is all about compartmentalization. Meet Cube's OS, the choice of the most paranoid security experts. It's like having a dozen separate computers in one. Let's dive in. Number seven is Cube's OS, the king of secure operating systems. It's philosophy security by compartmentalization. Each app runs in its own isolated cube. If malware hits one cube, it's trapped. Your other data stays safe. You can delete a compromised cube and start fresh, no harm done. Cubes OS even integrates Honix, so you get both anonymity and isolation. It's trusted by journalists and security pros, though it has a steep learning curve. Now that we've covered how to stay hidden, Let's shift to the tools used for attacking. Next up, the most famous hacking framework in the world. Get ready for Metasploit. This is where things get really interesting. Number six is the legendary Metasploit framework. It's an open source platform packed with exploits for known security vulnerabilities. Think of it as a giant key ring for digital lockpicking. Security pros use Metasploit to test if systems are vulnerable by simulating real attacks. It's modular. You can load exploits, payloads, scanners, and more. For example, a payload might open a shell, giving command line access to a compromised machine. We're running a safe demo, just a few commands, and we have a shell on our test system. Metasploit automates much of the exploitation process, making penetration testing efficient. But what if you hit a password wall? That's where our next tool comes in. Meet John the Ripper, 
the classic password cracker. Let's see how it works. This is where weak passwords get exposed. Number five is John the Ripper, a legendary password cracking tool. It takes encrypted password hashes and tries to recover the original passwords. The basic method is a dictionary attack, testing millions of common passwords and variations. It also uses rule-based attacks, tweaking words to match common patterns people use. We're running it on a file of sample hashes. Watch as it cracks 1123456 and QWERTY in seconds. It's a wake-up call for anyone using weak passwords. Security auditors use John to find and fix weak passwords in organizations. But passwords aren't the only target. Sometimes you need to see everything happening on a network. Our next tool is a network traffic microscope. Get ready for Wireshark. This is how you see the internet's raw data. Let's take a look. Number four is Wireshark, the ultimate network protocol analyzer. It captures and inspects every packet of data flowing across your network in real time. Network admins use it to troubleshoot, developers to debug, and security pros to spot suspicious activity. The interface can look overwhelming, but powerful filters let you zero in on exactly what you need. For example, we can filter for unencrypted HTTP traffic and see login credentials sent in plain text. This is why HTTPS is so important. Wireshark is essential for understanding how the internet really works. But for password cracking, there's a modern GPU-powered beast. Meet Hashcat, the world's fastest password recovery tool. Let's see how it changes the game. Speed is everything here. Number three is Hashcat, the Formula One of password cracking. It uses your computer's GPU to try billions or even trillions of password combinations per second. Hashcat supports hundreds of hash types, from website logins to Wi-Fi passwords. It uses dictionary, rule-based, and brute force attacks, but at mind-blowing speeds. We're running a benchmark. Look at those astronomical numbers. This tool shows why password length and complexity matter more than ever. Ethical hackers use Hashcat to demonstrate real-world risks to companies. But hacking isn't just about passwords. Sometimes you need to analyze malware safely. Our next tool creates a secure lab for studying viruses. Enter Cuckoo Sandbox. Number two is Cuckoo Sandbox, the go-to tool for automated malware analysis. It runs suspicious files in a virtual machine, safely observing their behavior. Cuckoo tracks what files the malware creates, what changes it makes, and what network connections it attempts. After a few minutes, it generates a detailed report, step-by-step -step actions, screenshots, and more. We're submitting a safe malware sample now. See the report with all its activity and network contacts. This info is gold for security analysts, helping them understand and defend against new threats. Cuckoo lets organizations process thousands of malware samples daily. But before you attack or analyze, you need to gather intel. Our number one tool is all about reconnaissance. Meet the Harvester. Number one is the Harvester, a simple but powerful reconnaissance tool. It gathers open source intelligence about a target, emails, employee names, subdomains, open ports, and more. The Harvester automates the process, querying dozens of sources and compiling results in minutes. For attackers, this info is the starting point for phishing or finding weak spots. We're running it on a test domain. See the list of emails and subdomains it uncovers. It's amazing what's publicly available. Ethical hackers use the Harvester to show companies their exposed information. Good reconnaissance is the foundation of any attack or defense. The Harvester proves that hacking starts with information gathering. Knowledge is power. There you have it. The top 10 free hacking tools used on the dark web in 2025. From Torrent Tales to Metasploit and Hashcat, you've seen the software that powers both sides of cybersecurity. All these tools are free and available to anyone. Understanding them helps you make smarter security decisions. Use this knowledge ethically to learn, build, and defend. What tool surprised you most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into cybersecurity.